Human trafficking is hitting home as certain public officials are being investigated for their role in a cross-border ring. Minister of National Security Emmanuel George made the statement at the opening of Human Trafficking Subject Matter Expert Exchange. Local law enforcement is collaborating with foreign experts to clamp down on human trafficking. And experts have converged for a two-day workshop at the Police Training Academy in St. James. The minister says this scourge is overwhelming small island states. Melissa Dasras has more. The ugly face of human trafficking, or modern-day slavery. People are lured or captured and held against their will, carted off to foreign destinations to be bought and sold on the black market. Transnational cartels transporting people to be used by their ringmaster as laborers or sex workers. And it's happening here, right under our noses. That according to the director of the counter-trafficking unit, Charmaine Gandhi Andrews. A few weeks ago, the counter-trafficking unit rescued a 55-year-old woman who was being kept in domestic servitude. During the interview, she said one thing that touched me deeply. She said through her tears and her trembling, I never thought anyone would come looking for me. I never thought anyone would find me. I thought this is what my life was going to be. Since 2007, 35 victims of human trafficking were identified in Trinan, Tobago. And after the proclamation of the Trafficking in Persons Act in January of this year, seven persons were rescued from their captives. Minister of National Security Emmanuel George says the legislation was designed to prevent, suppress and punish. The first human trafficking case was brought to the Counter Trafficking Unit in March of 2013 and involved sex trafficking in three Colombian women. This case represented the first prosecution under the new legislation. Two Trinidad and Tobago nationals are currently before the court. A police officer, the alleged trafficker, and his associate. Other cases involving public officials are currently being investigated. The government is working closely with the International Organization of Migration, the U.S. Embassy and NGOs, to provide the basic care and protection for the victims of human trafficking. These partnerships also assist victims with contacting relatives abroad and allows for the appointment of a consular representative. But the minister said there are challenges. There is not yet a dedicated shelter for trafficking victims, and the counter trafficking unit relies on halfway houses and shelters built for victims of domestic violence. There is currently limited accommodation for male victims and child victims. Current shelters are also not equipped to address the special needs of trafficking victims, such as foreign language capabilities. Over the next two days, they hope to address some of these issues. Meanwhile, Minister George says they will continue to investigate cases of human trafficking involving certain unnamed public officials. Melissa Dasroth, 